hello this is another example of punching shear example um, punching shear numerical a uh, slab 200 mm thick with an average effective depth d is equal 170 mm is constructed using grade c 35 45 uh, concrete and is reinforcement with class h 60 mm diameter bar at 150 center in each direction determine the maximum load that can be carried by the in the area 300 into 400 without exceeding the ultimate shear requirement to euro code 2 uh, this is our numerical problem and i have shown in my previous video the circle circle circumference is c pi pi d 2 pi r 4 pi d uh, this I have given this is my numerical this is a and b and 2d this is pi r pi r means 2 <coughs> pi r pi r means 2 pi uh, d uh, this is mm, mm, this is circle shape appearance and for reinforcement section basic control uh, experimenter is 2 a b plus uh, 2 pi into 2d uh, here we get this value and the maximum force that can be carried by a slab without shear reinforcement is um, p r d c uh, d u1 here we have d is effective if it is there we have given 170 mm and for b r d c we are seeing shear resistance of slab without shear reinforcement okay uh, for this we need, we'll see in the graph um, first now we'll calculate the uh, average steel ratio is equal to delta 1 delta y into delta x y y direction z direction we have here 16 at the rate 150 m provided in each way so we have given the bar diameter and by diameter and the spacing uh, how we can calculate the area also in this uh, in this section we are using 16 mm at the space of uh, 150 it is 1340 yeah it is 1340 mm square per m and we calculate delta y and delta z and we have delta 1 is equals to 0 0.79 and for uh, brdc we'll go to the graph uh, okay have the uh, we'll go to the graph in next graph we have BADC for 0 0.79 we'll use 10 mm, 200 it is 0 0.68 plus something we calculated 0 0.691 mm for the modification factor is from for C40 is it is uh, 1.05 and we calculate the PRDC means the maximum push that is can be uh, calculated by self without C enforcement for a control basic control parameter yeah <coughs> and maximum permissible shear force uh, that can be carried by the loaded area means by the column yeah, is given by the yeah we have 0 0.5 ud 0 0.61 minus fck 250 fck 1 by this i have shown here 0 0.5 b1 fcd ud it is shear reduction strain reduction factor 0 0.61 minus fck by 250 and design com compressive strain is FCD um, alpha CC F60 grammar C means we multiply by we, um, for uh, alpha CC we get one form of euro code 2 and grammar C we will use 1.5 for our factor or partial factor of safety yeah. by this way we calculate our uh, DRDC max and we have CK we have 35 and we take to the power minus which gains into newton and loaded area for this loaded area will be uh, two times um, a into a plus b means 300 into 400 the column size and everything i have given put in, oh i forgot to put u into d d will be d will be 170 and it will be in kilonewton meter and which is greater than 436 point 436.1 km so the maximum load carried by the slave will be 436.1 without shear reinforcements thank you thank you for watching